Hey guys, it's the Friction here at Tiger Tank 1-2, however you call me, I really care, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today, this is just a very quick video where we are going to be taking a look at the 122 TM. This is the upcoming Chinese Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank that is coming into the game. As you can see already, it is going to be a Premium Tank. Um, it's going to give you more experience or free experience, more credits, and you're going to be able to transfer the crew onto this vehicle without having to retrain them and that's basically a mark of a premium tank now this tank has been in the game files for a bit now i think in this patch it was finally added into the game um not into the super test and we're not sure when you're going to be able to get this this could be a marathon tank they could be bringing back front lines and all, all that kind of stuff in february and since we're already in february they could bring back all those things and they could make this tank maybe a marathon vehicle where you have like 10 days to play the game and unlock it and maybe buy it with a discount if you're interested in it. And yeah, we're going to take a look at the stats real fast. Just, you know, look at it and see what kind of a vehicle it could be. This is just a little preview of the stats since we cannot really try it out in any way, shape or form. But looking at the statistics, we should probably already have a bit of a, a insight or a very good idea what this tank is going to be like. So before we take a look at the stats, we can take a look at the modules. This tank has a 120 millimeter gun. I first thought it was going to be a 122 millimeter gun, but it's a 120 millimeter gun. And um, the gun has an average pen of 233 millimeters, which is quite interesting to see. Now, we're not sure if it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be firing APCR as standard shells. Then it's going to be firing heat shells as premium shells. And the alpha damage is quite high with 400. Very interesting. It's going to have a crew of four. And it looks like a very modern kind of tank. But let's take a look at the statistics. Let's take a look at the characteristics right here. We're going to take a look at the firepower, then we're going to go down survivability, mobility, concealment, and spotting. And that should give you guys a bit of an insight on what you can expect this vehicle to be like. So it has 400 alpha damage, which is for a tier 8 pretty damn impressive. That is very much on par with certain tank destroyers at tier 8 or medium tanks of tier 9, even tier 10. 233 millimeters of pen is really good for tier 8, um, but your rate of fire is atrocious with 3.58 shells per minute. That is a reload time of 16.78 seconds. That is really, really bad. If you're in a close quarter combat or close quarter engagement with this tank, you're going to be struggling a lot with very much better DPM vehicles that you will be facing. But it does have traverse speed, at least her traverse speed of 31.29 degrees per second, which is pretty bad for a medium tank. Let's be let's be real. But 8 degrees of gun depression, 15 degrees of gun elevation is not too impressive. But 8 degrees of gun depression on a Chinese tank is really, really interesting. Also, the aim time is fairly good, 2.21 seconds. Dispersion is 0.32 at 100 meters so this is a really good tank for distance so this is going to be a very good sniping vehicle as it looks like at the moment even with ridge lines you're going to be quite good let's say with eight degrees you're going to have um, not as much trouble as you would in other chinese uh, or soviet vehicles at that tier but your dpm is atrocious with only a thousand four hundred and thirty dpm which is really, really bad. That's on par with um, tier six vehicles or certain tier seven heavy tanks, I think. So yeah, that is really, really bad. All the other stats look pretty good, but the rate of fire is probably going to kill off all of the, those things that are good because, I mean, a rate of fire of 3.58 is really, really horrible unless we can boost it to the max. I think you can maybe get it to 4.0 if you're very lucky. And then the reload time would go down maybe to 15 seconds. But that's still not going to be cutting it. But yeah, let's move on. Let's take a look at the other stats. Now, armor-wise, this looks quite interesting. You have 120 millimeters of frontal armor. It's probably going to be the thickest part up here. 
the lower plate is down here you have 280 millimeters of turret armor at the front that is quite crazy that's really a lot that's a lot of turret armor so this is going to be a great haul down vehicle 140 on the side 70 on the rear 80 millimeters on the side on the hull armor 50 on the rear so yeah if you're somewhere in a ditch you have a little bit of um, cover in front of you you're going to be doing quite well also a thousand four hundred hit points for a medium tank is also quite good so all in all survivability looks pretty good firepower looks good except for rate of fire which is pretty horrible which is probably going to be making this tank very unattractive for a lot of people but let's take a look at the mobility so mobility wise this tank can reach the top speed of 50 kilometers per hour um, its specific power to weight ratio is 15.47 um, horsepower per ton so your acceleration is probably not going to be the best but 50 kilometers per hour top speed is decent traverse speed with 41.72 is not the best but it's also good enough i would say so mobile like to be fair this tank seems to be quite mobile it seems to have decent survivability it seems to have a really um, good gun but a really really bad reload time and Concealment is also not the worst. It's also not the best. It's okay But spotting is quite interesting to see right here that the spotting range of this tank is 370 meters I'm not sure is this the standard spotting range for Chinese tanks because at tier 8 370 is not that great to be fair although If I think about it. No, I think 370 is, is okay. It's I think below average though still so okay yeah having said that what can we expect of this vehicle i think if we take the take the characteristics seriously and they don't change a lot more in the next couple of months or weeks uh, when the vehicle is being released i think we're gonna have a really good sniper or a decent sniper with a really really bad rate of fire with decent enough survivability to be able to survive uh, enemy fire if you are in a haul down position but in close quarters you're going to be uh, in a bit of trouble so this is probably going to be a tank that does good if you are very far away from the action and you can utilize the accuracy of the gun and um, you can utilize the mobility to switch positions if the enemies get too close to you and in the end your armor and your turret will still hold up if somebody is going to shoot at you but the problem is just that with the rate of fire that you have you're not going to be able to be very combat effective in close quarter combat and that's going to be quite a bit of a, a downside if you're playing this tank a medium and you're supposed to be you know going through a flank or you're supposed to be helping out a certain position and it's always nice to have more dpm i would rather have better dpm a bit worse gun statistics than you know having a crazy accurate gun but only be able to fire like two or three rounds per minute I think that's just my personal preference, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this little preview. Um, this is just, you know, a first look. I'm just going to title it a first look at the 122TM, and I'll see you guys on the next video.